career journey, I'd like to think, started when I was about 10 years old. I always wanted to be a performer. I knew I was born to entertain. I loved doing it since I was, goodness, three. I wanted to be a dancer so much. And then, of course, high school happened to me. And there were other interesting things, like uh, socialising. More often than not, I had the most music in class. And we play more of my cassettes than anyone else's. So it reached a point where, at the end of the term, they knew that I was bringing the music. You know, when I grew up loving radio, I listened to radio at school, I slept to the radio, I woke up to the radio, and it, it, was, it was my best friend for a long time. I knew, I knew I always wanted to do this. I said to my mom one day, I think it was in the bedroom, I was like, mom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an entertainer. I wanna be an entertainer. And she looked at me and she was like, oh boy, here we go. I think my first big break happened in 1992. I met uh, DJ Oskido and Ian Segola. Um, they were doing a gig in my town and I approached them, I told them that I was a DJ. And then they said, listen, we have a gig next week, come and DJ with us. My big break was when I was invited to audition when I didn't think I could get the job. And when I got the job, come on, it's been, it's been with me forever. I've, it's been an old love affair and I don't think it's ever, ever gonna die because I don't think I can do anything else as, as well as I, I, I do radio. No other feeling could give me that Adrenaline, that energy, that power that I would get being on stage or in front of the cameras. I think the biggest challenge on this journey was convincing my parents that yes, it's okay to flunk out of law school and pursue radio and DJ. My relationship with my dad was pretty much non existent because of this. But now he's my biggest fan. I just need to get into one of my games now. Most support came from my colleagues, that were male colleagues. They walked with me throughout the trials and, and, and challenges that we had. And as a contestant, think about this being your world stage and you having to represent this country. You need to give 150% every single time you're on stage. Even when you're off stage, stay in character if you have to. So that by the time you're on stage, it becomes second nature. You want to be South Africa's biggest talent, the biggest actor to hit our shores, where well, you got to prepare, and you've also got to prepare up here. Can't wait to see what you guys have to offer. So South Africa's got so much talent, and uh, this is exactly the platform to show it on. So bring it, baby. Essay's Got Talent starts Sunday, 6 September at 5 past 6 on E!